Hundreds of local medical students now know where they will do important hands-on training. As Sabrina Wilson reports, today is match day. I'm hoping to match at the right place in OBGYN. I'm hoping for LSU too, for dermatology. In two different locations in New Orleans. You're going to go out and deliver fabulous care and keep the patients in mind. The day LSU and Tulane medical students have been waiting for. It's match day all over the U.S. So this is an exciting time, four years in the making. Fourth year medical students all over the nation find out where exactly they're going to be matching for residency. So after they've received their MD degree, they get between three to seven years of training. Over to go, ja UMMC in Jackson, internal medicine. LSU Baton Rouge for internal medicine. I'm hoping to go to Austin for emergency medicine. To be sure, there's angst. Yeah. And I think we both woke up this morning and we're really we, feeling we had butterflies, no clue. but... And then... The waiting ends. Tulane med students Kristen Williams and Sam Smith both get to stay in New Orleans for their residencies. Feeling really excited. I think we were really nervous coming into today, but uh, I think we're both really happy with the result. I think I think we're just happy that we're together. Yeah. So we, we matched at the same place and it's it's a good result. Yeah. So and we met here, so Yeah, we met here at the beginning of med school, first year. So now we match together. Yep. And LSU Health New Orleans School of Medicine's associate dean for admissions says often their med school grads return to Louisiana even if they train elsewhere. We're very well respected all over the nation, but we still maintain at least half of our uh, graduates actually do their residency training here. And even when they go away for residency, we all want them to come back and a large percentage do come back and practice here in Louisiana. Now, according to the American Medical Association, the 2023 Match Day process offered residency positions to over 40,000 medical students, which was a new record.